YouTubers. Here's a quick video of how to temporarily reset the computer on your truck if your check engine light is on. After you think you fixed the problem, or if you did fix the problem, this is how you reset it. And it works for Chevy, Ford, Dodge, whatever. I wouldn't recommend you doing this on anything newer than 2000. I wouldn't recommend it at all. Because you never know you could fry your computer. You just simply go disconnect your negative posts on your battery. I'm not disconnecting mine. You disconnect your negative posts on your battery. Some people say leave it off for 30 minutes. People say leave it off for 15 minutes. People say leave it off for 20. I do, when I'm replaced, anything electrical in my vehicle, no matter what it is electrical, it can just be the EGR valve. No, that's the, uh, yeah. See, that's the EGR valve. Well, <clears throat> it can be anything. This, this, this. It doesn't matter to me. If electrical, unplug the, the negative post. This. Uh, cruise control, that's the map sensor right here. When you go to re remove electrical part on my on, on your vehicle, remove the negative posts at all times. It, it, it keep from frying anything. I'm not saying it will fry, I'm just saying that's what I do to prevent from getting fried. And don't have something like this hanging around, I need to take that off. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, what I do is I unhook my negative post before I begin. And I leave it unhooked the entire time I'm messing with that particular electrical item. Then I plug it, then I hook it back up. If it's only been five minutes, I'll let it go a little longer. And you hook it on up and let it sit for about five minutes. That's what I do with mine. Then I turn my key on. My check engine light is on, I know why. I'm not fixing that problem. Not right now, at least. Especially sticking my up. But you do that. And. You lease and you reset your odometer. Main metal odometer is this right here. I'm gonna close my hook. This right here is a trip. You can't reset that. You press this button right here, and it resets the the trips. Put that to zero. Go all the way to at least 80 miles and 80 miles on your vehicle. The light comes back on. The problem was not fixed. If it doesn't come back on, your problem was fixed. And do not try to get your space stick up as soon as you hook it back on up. Because it will show that you reset your computer. At 80 miles, it won't show. Hope this helps you out, y'all. Subscribe to me if you're new. Chevy Dash Killer here. Like if you like. Thank you. Well, hope, it, hope this works for you.